<laughs> Try some tough stuff with Guff. Give these latter stars back to the community, maybe. I must protect the Fire Lord. I actually don't know if I keep a pounce. I really do want fungal fortunes, though. I think I'm going to throw back the pounce, because if I can fungal fortunes into my overgrowth. Like, so I'm lost in the park on one, hero power on two, fungal fortunes on three. Mark of the Spike Shell is a way that we're going to exploit this quest. Oh, we already got our overgrowth. Nice. Study the flames. That's my greetings? Study the flames. Glory. So our big reward is Guff the Tough, which I want to hit with Mark of the Spike Shell. So on turn seven, Guff the Tough, Mark of the Spike Shell. That's the goal. Ooh. So what I don't know is if I Feral Rage to gain four attack. Will that give me three attack for this quest and then one attack for the next one? Let's find out. No, it does not overrun. Well, that's a bummer. If she plays something else, we get to Lunar Eclipse Overglow, Overgrowth. Oh, sketchy information, sweet. Oh, she's playing Lone Shark Rogue. Oh, that's rad. So now she's got a bucket of coins. Wow, I'm gonna super growth. I'm gonna have seven mana, which means I get to fungal fortunes and overgrowth again. I'm not making a ton of progress on the old quest line here, but I'm getting set up. I only have two misses on my Fungal Fortunes, and that would be discarding my Park Panther. Oh, I can't actually clear that. I think that having stealth is actually fine with me. Let's draw three. No Park Panther. Guess the weight. No Park Panther. Fungal Fortunes. No Park... Ah! Oh, fudge. That was a Park Panther. Well... Just gonna do it again. No Park Panther. Perfect. Freaking perfect. Pounce and Nature Studies. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, that's miserable. <laughs> that's exactly not how that was supposed to go. Uh, if I Nature Studies with one mana, I get to play my best in shell next turn for five. Uh, Soul of the Forest, Pride's Fury, or Resizing Pouch. I think maybe a resizing pouch? Because they can get me more pounces. More pounces. Oh my god. So I can double... Oh, I should have... Oh no, this had stealth. That's right. I couldn't double pounce this because it had stealth. <laughs> you said no Park Panther. That was two. Yeah, I got exactly the opposite of what I was asking for. I couldn't help but notice. Oh. Couldn't stop the Octobot. Stop. Do I have to have my phone on loud? Oh, the insurance might call me. Oh, crap. That wasn't the insurance, was it? Uh oh. <laughs> might have been I had to answer that one. Ah, well. Uh, so, this death rattle. I have a coin from this loan shark. That's what's going on. Well, what do I want to do this turn? It's all nature studies. If I can get a Glowfly Swarm, hmm. Trade in my best in shell. <laughs> Another pounce. Well, I guess I can start spending some of these pounces. Uh, I can guess the weight first. Scenario board, probably less, <laughs> if I was gonna guess. Yep. Come on. All right, and now I can Overgrowth to corrupt my moon touched thing. Double pounce. Did that attack go in? All right, I have 41 armor and a corrupted moon touched amulet. 
which, alongside Pounce, finishes the quest. So I can now Moon Touched Amulet Pounce for three mana. That finishes the quest. Guff the Tough for five mana. And then Mark of the Spiked Shell for two mana, for a grand total of 10 mana. Oh, I wonder if I have to kill this Gadget Sand Auctioneer. She's going nuts with all these coins. Yoink for more cycle, of course. How much damage will we have, though, with that full combo that I said? Four, five, six. Six and eight is 14. We're going to gain a bunch of armor, and we're going to truck her for a bunch and get ready to do it again. She is drawing her entire deck. We can get comboed for a lot, but we're gonna put her under some duress here. But this turn is also insane. I think the best draw for me is my other Lunar Eclipse, so I can do, oh, this is great for me. Well, I mean, it's not great, obviously, she's drawing a bunch of cards, but now I can Lunar Eclipse that and do other stuff. Right, I get to Lunar Eclipse this thing. Moon touched amulet. Uh, pounce. Get Guff the Tough. Nobody messes with my Mark of the Spike Show. We have another Guff the Tough. Trucker for 14. We have 50 life <laughs> and another Guff the Tough in our hand. <laughs> Uh, we also get to Solar Eclipse Scenarian Ward. We can also Guff the Tough Mark of the Spike Shell again. We have a 10-10 Taunt, and she has 13 life. Right now, she's dead from our hand. She is going to be able to get her coins off this Lone Shark, though. Uh, where's this extortion going, exactly? Oh, cycling. It's, uh, it's trading. Okay. Does she have some kind of combo she can do for 5 mana that kills me from 50? What are you drawing for? She only has 5 cards left in her whole deck. Yeah, sorry Valera, I just don't think that gets there. She has a bunch of coins. Bunch of coins, bunch of cards she drew off Gadget Zan. Can you give your hero stealth? You have a Shroud of Concealment in there? Because that's what it's going to take. Cloak of Shadows. That is what it's going to take. Okay. She's got a Cloak of Shadows. That means we're going to go for maximum armor gain. Maximum armor gain time. Double Scenarian Ward. All right, we have 66 armor and a Corrupted Moon-Touched Amulet and a Guff the Tough. You're paying for my discretion. You're paying for my discretion. Let's see it. We're showing 18. Oh, we're about to get garroted for a bunch. That's interesting. Shadow Step on the Og Merchant, I guess? Do the Bleeds get spell damage? Oh, this is wild. Oh, the Bleeds do gain spell damage. That's interesting. Big Garrot's coming through. I assume she has another Garrot. Yeah, that's not going to be enough, because we have 66, but that's a cool idea. Versus Garrot. Lone Shark Rogue? That was cool. That's a cool idea. Gadget Sand auctioneering into coins off the Lone Shark. Because Garrot is two mana deal eight damage. And if the bleeds that come off the auto cast are affected by spell damage, that means you can do a ton. Every one spell damage does an extra four damage. If we didn't have, you know, 60 health. <laughs> The problem is we had 60 health. She drew her whole deck so fast. Okay, Guff pretty tough though. 